most of the architectural remains that survive from ancient and medieval India are religious in nature. In different parts of the country, distinct architectural style of temples was result of geographical, ethnic and historical diversities. Temple architectural styles can be divided into three types. Dravid style, Nagar style and Vaisar style. Dravid style this style is associated with the temples from South India. The Viman in Dravid style of temple architecture is pyramidical elevation of towers. Nagar style. The style is related to the temples found in North India. The distinctive feature of this style is that the Shikhar or Viman is curvilinear shaped. Vaisar style. The temples built with a mixture of Dravid and Nagar styles of temple architecture are called Vaisar style of temples. These can mainly be seen in the Karnataka region. Dravid style of temple architecture. This style predominantly developed in the 7th 8th century AD under the Pallavas and Cholas in South India. The main characteristics are the temples are enclosed by a compound wall. The entrance gateway called the Gopuram is in the center of the front wall. The Garbhagraha is square shaped which is topped by a pyramidical tower called as Viman. The Shikhar in South India which is an octagonal cupola is equivalent to Kailash of North India. A temple tank of fresh water is within the enclosed structure of the temple. A pillared wall called a mandap precedes the Garbhagriha and the Viman. The pillars and Viman stories are decorated by sculpting of images of Dwarpalas. Over the period of time, the height of the Gopurams kept on increasing and in the Vijayanagar period, the Gopurams had almost become bigger than the Vimanas. The best examples of temples built in Dravid style of temple architecture are Brahadeshwar Temple at Tanjore built by Raj Rajeshwar Chol, Shor Temple at Mahabalipuram built by Narsim Varman II, the Pallav King, Minakshi Sundareshwar Temple at Madurai built by Nayak rulers and Kailashna Temple at Kanchipuram built by Narsim Varman II, the Pallav King. Nagar style of temple architecture This style of temple architecture is seen in temples built in North India. The major characteristics are the temple complex is not enclosed. The Garbhraha, the inner sanctum, is topped by a shikhar which is curvilinear shaped. The mandap, which is the main hall, is of different types called as Ardh Mandap, Mandap, and Mahamandap based on their sizes. There is a stone disc type structure called as Amalak at the top of the temple. Amalak is topped by a Kalash which is the highest point of the Shikhar as well as the entire temple. There is also an Antaral which is transition area between the Garbhgraha and the Manda. The walls and pillars of the temple are decorated by sculpted images of river goddesses and Mithun images. The entire temple complex is built on a stone platform with steps leading to it. The best examples of temples built in Nagar style of temple architecture are Kandare Mahadev Temple at Khajuraho built by the Chandel rulers, Sun Temple at Mudhera in Gujarat built by the Solanki rulers, Sun Temple at Konark built by Narsimhadev I of the Eastern Gang dynasty, Jagannath Temple at Puri built by Eastern Gang dynasty rulers. Vaisar style of temple architecture This style is also called as the Deccan style as the most of the temples of this temple architecture style are found in Deccan region. The major characteristics of this style are, it is hybridized style formed by combining features of both Dravid and Nagar style of temple architecture. This style had spire-shaped shikhar inspired by Nagar style. The mandap is designed in Dravidian style which is a pillared hall. The shikhar and mandap are joined by Antaral. Pradakshina path, ambulatory pathway around sanctum sanctorum, garbhgraha is not present. The pillars, ceiling and door frames are very intricately carved. 
The best examples of temples built in Vesar style of temple architecture are Lad Khan Temple at Ehol, Karnataka, built by the kings of the Chalukya dynasty, Virupaksh Temple at Padakkal, built by Lok Mahadevi, the queen of Chalukya king Vikramaditya II, Kailashna Temple at Alora, built by Rashtrakuta rulers, Hoysaleshwar Temple at Halibid, by the Hoysal king Vishnuvardhan. If you want to know about any other topic, Please leave it in the comment box so that I can come back with it. If you have liked the episode, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.